Holiday weekend is expected to be a busy one on the roads, and it has already turned deadly in the east with a log truck driver killed after his truck flipped over on a Pitt County highway this morning. Merritt Morgan was at the scene and spoke to a trooper about the crash and highway safety just ahead of the Memorial Day weekend. She's live now with the details. Merritt. Trooper Trevor Peters with NC State Highway Patrol tells me the man was not wearing a seatbelt at the time of the accident. Now following this accident, he's encouraging everyone to stay safe as they travel for this holiday weekend. It's extremely important. Um, I have been in a wreck before where I've, I've flipped a vehicle before and uh, my wife and I were both wearing our seatbelt and it definitely saved our lives. A familiar and unfortunate sight for some residents following the death of a truck driver Friday morning. Single vehicle collision was traveling northbound on NC 30. It was a log truck tractor trailer. It did run off the road to the right overcorrected, ran off the road to the left, overturned and collided with a ditch. Trooper Trevor Peters with the State Highway Patrol said the driver's seatbelt was not fastened and with one of the busiest travel weekends underway with Memorial Day. Troopers are pleading with drivers to buckle up and stay alert. Ensure that you wear your safety belt um, and keep that fastened and all occupants should be wearing that at all times in the vehicle. Uh, so that was a factor in this collision. The heavier traffic, you got to be a little bit more uh, careful while driving. Um, definitely not on the phone or anything like that, but yeah, just being more mindful of your surroundings. Peters and the NCDOT are reminding travelers of these three safety tips. They say you shouldn't be drowsy when you're driving. You need to follow the posted speed limit and stay aware of your surroundings at all times. Live in Pitt County, Merritt Morgan, WITN News. All right, thanks, Merritt. And according to the NCDOT, Memorial Day also marks the start of the 100 deadliest days of summer. That's the period between Memorial Day and Labor Day when the number of deadly crashes involving teen drivers typically rises. More people, including young drivers, are traveling during this time.